But if the person wakes up and says, I know what I did, I'm sorry. When you wake up and you're the only one hurt and full of words, and someone looks at you like, oh, it's a new day. When you realize that actually the, 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 the true person is coming out now, and because you said you love this person, then you also need to take, you take them as they are. I want to say that this is a nightmare, but it's your life. You experienced something and I missed it. I missed it. So you call me my friend. And we sit. And you tell me everything. So I met my partner um, when I had just graduated. So she came to Jobek for a training and I happened to be in the same training that she was in and that's how we met and exchanged contacts. Within relationships, in any kind of relationships, there's always going to be someone that wants to be dominant and someone that is submissive, right? Whether it's two gay men, two gay women. My partner is very uh, feminine looking. I, on the other hand, am masculine looking. When you are masculine looking in a relationship, you are usually the dominant one. You are usually seen as the one who initiates things, uh, whether good or bad. How do I start helping? I'm struggling to find someone to help. I keep thinking, let's go to the police, but I know when we get there, they'll ask, how are you dating a woman and getting beaten up by her? You'll be told, if you want to look like a man, act like one, defend yourself. The first time it happened, we were actually about to sleep. She really wanted sex and she couldn't stop kissing me and just being on my face. Oh no, she's kissing. Um, oh, I'm needing a kiss, she's kissing. I'm needing a kiss, she's kissing. Okay, cool. Nah, kissing, nah. Kissing, nah, nah. I think I've said enough no's. I think I've pushed enough. I think I know what I want and it's not this. I keep asking myself, how did I not see? I still can't believe that someone you opened up yourself to could do that to you, could hurt you in that way. The first time that um, our fights started being physical, I found myself like uh, against the wall, trying to figure out what's going on. I went out, there was a knock. It was a girl from next door. My partner was already saying that, yeah, she's one of the people that you are cheating with and then she went to close the door. I don't know what did I say that made her angry, pushed me against the wall, and then she started crying. And then she gave me a clap, and then I didn't give it back to her. Let's sit down and talk. And then she said, it's too late for you to sit down. Pushed me against the wall, and then she started crying. I can't go out without her knowing. Um, I can't spend this much without her knowing. It went as far as she wanted sex to be done in a particular way that she wants it. And whenever she wants it, and it's no longer about how I feel at the time. And even when I'm on my periods, like forcing me to do things that I would not do. I thought, oh, she's my partner, she loves me and I have to do whatever it is that she, she said I must do. Oh no, she's kissing. Um, no, I'm needing a kiss, she's kissing. I'm needing a kiss, she's kissing, okay, cool. I remember that moment more than I remember anything in that whole relationship. Because I feel like that should have been the end. You don't touch me like that, you don't do that. I was scared, it's not normal. I'm gonna get back to you, with you, you know I'm gonna do that. And that is not normal. Nobody knew. 
and she seemed remorseful. I feel guilty. I keep wondering, how did I not see the signs that are so clear to me now? I pride myself on spotting danger. I keep thinking that if she had been a man, I would have seen it sooner. They are a danger we're familiar with. But women, queer women, we don't see their violence. Or maybe we choose not to, just like the world refuses to acknowledge their sexuality. The work that we want to do is the work of being accepted or tolerated, for lack of a better word. So we want to always just be saying, we are human. It doesn't matter who we are sleeping with, but we are human. That's why we then kind of um, push back on talking about the violences that we face in our intimate relationships. The shadows are sometimes the place where you exist at your fullest, where that part of you that you doll up to the world comes out to play. Free. Everyone that's there with you understands that the shadows is your safe space. Until it's not. Until that space becomes dangerous to you. So when you ask for help, desperately, no one wants to hear you. People do not want to talk about intimate partner violence, particularly perpetrators, right? Um, people are scared to talk about their experiences because they do not want to be judged. We're a very small community, so everyone knows everything about everyone. There's that cycle of not trusting to talk about your experiences because we're so small that we know about each other. We are each other's exes. She wanted to kill herself, so I went to where she was. I tried to pull her, but she was so heavy. It's either I jump with her because the forces that I was using was not enough. That's when I gave her a clap, and that clap alone, and I'm not saying that I, I'm proud of myself for doing that, but that sort of like woke her up because it was then that she realizes that what I was about to do is actually crazy. So the security guards, they managed to, to talk to her. And then um, as we were sitting down and as she was, she was busy crying again, she said, you know what, you could have just let me die. They diagnosed her with bipolar. And the fact that she can't tell her parents and friends about what is happening to her and, and that um, she realizes that she's been doing things to me that she wouldn't have done if she was okay. I had to decide to whether or not I continue to be in that relationship. And I left. One night, and I went to sleep earlier than everyone who was present at the get together. And she came um, shortly after I'd been tucked into bed. And some who do you love? It's happening again. Oh, tensing up. Just drafting answers that will not trigger anybody to raise their voice or anything. My body, my head kind of learned what to do. I love everyone. I love my family. I love my friends. I love you. What do you mean? Okay, not enough. Leave me to sleep, please. Cool, she leaves. Now she's coming to bed. I tense up. Okay, don't tense up. And now she's like, okay, hold me. I'm holding you, Nana. Why don't you want me? You know, I feel like shit. 
Because why don't I want my lover? Who must? Who else must I want? Definitely, if she says I don't want it, she feels it. It's in my body. What am I doing wrong? I've got to want her. And that was after like, you know, she's like, just pulling and tagging at me. Who am I and supposed to annoy? Who am I supposed to annoy? Um, I'm your lover. You're no, my no, lover. Kiss, just kiss and keep it down. Please, please, please just, just don't, don't shout. Why are you shouting? I'm scared. I'm scared um, that she's even though you've left, um, I'm scared that um, you will go back. She's kissing. Kiss, I'm scared kiss, that okay, cool. you'll feel like you can't be anything without her. The nature of that relationship is never leave each other. I I stayed knowing very well that things are not okay. In the name of she loves me. In the name of she's drunk. In the name of it's probably a mistake. She doesn't mean it. But in my body, in my head, what I don't want is crying at night, silently, with someone who heard me, sleeping there next to me peacefully. I think it's also because we, we want to look a certain way to the public, right? Um, we, want to, we want to be united. I see you. I see how much strength it took for you to leave, to walk away, telling yourself that you deserve so much more, because you do. That you need to heal, fighting for yourself, choosing yourself, knowing that you won't make it easy, that you're starting all over again with yourself. This is it. This is it. You don't make me feel bad for not wanting it. And what do you mean? What do you mean, you, who do I love and who am I in love with? You know, when she spoke to me that night, she spoke to me like I'm nothing. Like she owns me, like she was just manipulative and just sly about well, not wanting. I didn't want. Not you, but I didn't want sex. Oh no, she's kissing. Oh no, she's kissing. Um, oh no, she's kissing. She's kissing. Oh no, she's kissing. This is it. This is it. I had to decide to whether or not I continue to be in that relationship. And I left. This is it. This is it. What I don't want is crying at night, silently, with someone who heard me, sleeping there next to me peacefully. You're the universe and all the goodness it has to offer. You're a blessing. A loved one. I'm glad that you got out. That you get to tell your story. I'm here. And I love you so much. There's so much of you in my heart.